In this video, we will see how to configure the JNLP extension in Firefox, so it will be executed automatically. First, we should have the Java JDK 1.8 installed in the operative system. So first, we are going to install the JDK 1.8. We see a wizard where we will follow all the steps until finishing the installation process. Once the installation process of Java in the system is finished, we enter in the terminal and we check if the application is installed. Java space dash version. And subsequently, we should see the Java installed. Now, let's configure Java. We see a little application with several tabs. The security tab is what matters here. It is where we will paste the URL from which we are running the JNLP and we will put it in the list of trusted sites, something quite important to the performance of the system. Afterwards, we go to the Advanced tab and we confirm that we have active the possibility of receiving requests from JNLP files. In the Firefox configuration parameters, we can see the extensions that we have configured. The JNLP extension is not there, so we close the browser, we run it again, and we will take the opportunity to set Firefox as the default browser. Depending on the operative system, some of these steps can be a little different, but the process is basically the same. We log in AppNKM. The software executes a JNLP file, a Java Web Start file. We come back where we have the configuration parameters. We check that the file still doesn't appear. The first time, we have to download the JNLP file. Once it is downloaded, we link the extension to an application. This time, we choose the option Open With, and we select the Java Web Launcher, and we set this procedure by default. Now. We run the application, and we can check that the application is executed properly. We close all these windows, we cancel the addition, and if we come back to the configuration parameters of the browser, now we can see that the JNLP file appears. We said that we want the execution of this extension always and by default with Java Web Launcher. Now in OpenKM, we select a file and we launch the addition of a document. The system shows a pop-up with a warning message that asks if we want to execute it automatically. We see how the JNLP file is running and now we will work to remove the warning message. We go to the advanced configuration parameters of Firefox with about colon config and we look for a configuration parameter. In general terms, we won't have this parameter already, so we take the opportunity to create it. It is a Boolean parameter where we set the value true. So now, if we decide to edit a file, we can check that we can launch the addition procedure without a warning window. This step sets the end of the configuration process.